Hi Leo! Today I decided to go ahead and pull a new moon spread for you guys, but this is one of the ones that I actually did myself. Um, I couldn't find one that I liked, so I decided to do my own. Um, it's going to be a seven card spread, and I'll go over um, what it means with you guys, um, and I'll tell you as, as I go what I pulled. Okay. Um, card number one is going to be the position of your energy at the present moment. And for that one, I got for the Six of Swords. Um, card number two is going to be like your issue, your desire, your need, your any, you know, anything, whatever it is, your situation, whatever it is that, that is the querent here. That's going to be uh, number two position. And that one I pulled Justice, which was, in my opinion, a very fitting one. Um, card number three is going to be how are you feeling about position number two? Like, how are you feeling about that situation or that issue or that desire um in that position i pulled the knight of wands and then for card number four um it's gonna be your outside blocks or any influences if any um and for that position i pulled the page of swords for card number five it's gonna be any messages or advice that you are getting um maybe from your guides or just from your higher self and for that position i pulled the five of wands card number six is going to be the outcome if you don't follow the advice from number five and card number seven is going to be the outcome if you do follow the advice so that is going to be card seven's um it's card six now for card six i pulled the six of wands card seven i pulled the queen of cups now we'll go over this again with you guys as i go through it when i tell you what i got out of it but basically when i um got the pulling everything and i looked at number one i got the six of swords and i feel like in that position when it represents your energy at the present moment i feel like you feel like your only choice is to walk away from something that isn't serving you yet you have a lot of love for it and it's causing you a lot of um battling whether you know inward battling and causing you a lot of stress and a lot of strife and the mat your like head doesn't match your heart you know what i mean like you know in your brain and in your head and, and common sense wise that this is no good for you but your heart is so strong in the situation and you just can't no matter how bad it hurts you seem like you can't pull away from it and then card number two is going to be like your issue, your desire, your need, you know, what it is that you're even seeking guidance about. And I pulled the justice card. And I feel like that in that position, that's what you want. You're wanting justice. You want you want things to be balanced out. You want people to validate all the shit that you've been through, all the lies that have been told about you, everything that's ever been said or done in this relationship. Or I feel like you want justice for that. You want your karma, the good karma and the bad karma. You want it to be done. You're ready just to go ahead and get this damn thing done with. And that is what you're seeking. You're seeking justice for the pain that you've been put through. Because you sat here impatiently and dealt with some shit that you did not have, You shouldn't have had to go through. Alright, card number three. How are you feeling about it? Knight of Wands. You're hopeful. You're passionate about it. Um, you are ready and willing to progress forward with it. I don't know if you're waiting on some kind of message or sign but I feel like you're hopeful for it. Um, in position number four, your outside influences or blocks, if any. Page of Swords. The fact that you're passionate about it is awesome, and it's going to run headstrong into this like wall, pretty much, because I feel like it's moving slow. The energy behind this justice that you seek is slow moving, and you've got to be patient, and you've already been so patient, and I feel like that's going to be the battle your block is going to be that you're ready to move so fast and you're so antsy and you're so excited and you're ready and you see it. It's like you see the light in the tunnel but you're on a treadmill and you just can't get there. That's a really good actually analogy for that. I've never thought about that. I just came up with that pretty good. Yeah, I should trademark that shit. Anyway, just kidding. Um, next we'll go on to number five. This is what your messages and advice would be, okay? And I would pull the five of wands which tells you you need to fight for yourself. What's right? How you feel inside is not wrong you feel that way there's a reason you feel that way and so I feel like you're being told to continue on standing up for what's right morally and inside of yourself and, and you may be fighting for somebody else I don't know I get a vibe of that vibe too for some reason but um just you know what's right and what's wrong you know and always always stand for what's right because you know, you're not in the wrong even if you're standing for what's wrong in this situation because you're standing for like love and how you feel and unconditional love and wanting to be validated and wanting someone to truly love you. There's nothing wrong with that. If you don't get it, you'll still be fine. According to um, what I got, if you don't follow the advice, I mean, you, you don't need that person's love to be fine. You can do it on your 
columnist. Absolutely correct. So I mean, I got the six of wands next, which is overall victory in a sense. I mean, you're still, you're still gonna win. You know what I mean? You're still gonna be free of that shit. But if you do keep fighting for yourself and stand up for yourself, and to where you change that person a little bit at a time, maybe you'll be that one person that breaks that some bitch. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, honey. But for some reason, if you do follow the advice I'm getting, that you'll be the Queen of Cups, which is support. Love, emotional contentment, satisfaction. Maybe you'll get that justice and that's why you'll be satisfied. And maybe you won't be with them. But maybe you'll get what you need out of it without being with them. And if you do get back with them or you are with them, maybe it'll change. I, I don't know. But that is all I've gotten so far for you guys. And that's what I got for your new moon tarot spread. The one that um I kind of drew up myself. I couldn't find one that I like. So I hope you guys uh, got something out of it. And I hope it was some you know, a sign or confirmation for some of you guys, if you were waiting for that sign, um, that, you know, do what you need to do, stay in your ground, be strong, you are the, are brave, you are courageous, you are a lion, you've got the heart, sometimes your heart is too big, and you need to use a little bit more of your brain, but you got this, just find that balance, and we'll talk to you later.